Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We did it. We knocked out Jaspi's 19 box Otani baseball mixer. Why is it called the Otani mixer? Because we're giving away 22 Shohei Otani graded rookie cards. All 22 are going to go to one person. We're going to do that at the end of the break. And two wax party invites. Name on top is going to get the invite plus the Otanis. All of them. Second name will also get a wax party invite. There are the, uh, the cards here, and here are the boxes in the mixer right over there. The mixer's a solid one, too. Very big thanks to this group for getting in on the action. Appreciate it. All 30 teams are in, and let's roll it. Randomized names and teams at six and a six, 12 times. Seven. And 12th and final time. Got Tristan down to Carl Chris. Six and a six, 12 times for the teams. Seven, eight, nine. And 12th and final time. We got Atlanta down to the San Francisco Baseball Giants. All right, so here's how it all shakes out, ladies and gentlemen. Trade window is now open. Tristan with the Braves. Carl Chris with the Red Sox. Carl Chris with the Royals as well. Matt with the Rangers. Carl Chris, Blue Jays and Guardians. Jason with the Phillies. Dylan with the Rays. David with the Brewers. Will with the Angels. David with the Cardinals. Carl Chris with the Reds. John with the Mets. Carl Chris with the... Uh, White Sox, David with the Twins, Carl Chris, Padres, and Marlins. Ryan W. with the Pirates and A's. John Jackson, Mariners and Yankees. Carl Chris with the Astros. John with the Rockies. Jason, you got my Dodgers. Carl Chris with the Cubs and Tigers. Jay with the Orioles. David with the Diamondbacks. Will with the Nationals. And Carl Chris with the San Francisco Baseball Giants. Let's sort by column A alphabetically. And we're going to pause the video just for a little bit. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, then we'll have the break. And by the way, that, those are the stack of Otanis right here that were given away at the end of the break. Different dice roll is going to be pretty nice. We'll set those right next to me over here. We'll do that randomizer at the end along with any other randomizers. All right, gang. Stick around. We'll see you on the other side of the trade window. All right, welcome back, everybody. No deals were done here on NBA Draft Night. Now it's a baseball break. We'll probably get some draft talk going right here, though. We got the Thompson Twins going back to back, which is awesome. A Men Thompson, then a Sewer Thompson going back to back. Remember the Thompson Twins? Some people in the chat remember. All right, 19 boxes, right? So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. All right, just want to make sure. <laughs> you think they should have played them as some sort of walk-up music? Do you think do you think these guys know, have any idea who the Thompson Twins are? I don't know what their, what their musical education is. Uh, their parents might have, might have, if they're listening to some 80s radio, they might have, they might know the song. No, they have to know the Thompson Twins, right? Because there's got to be someone who's like, yeah, Thompson Twins, like the band. Someone has to have said that. There's Anthony Black. We've seen him in a lot of our, uh, we've seen him in a lot of our Bowman uh, University breaks. But I don't know why, yeah, why is Orlando... Evan, you're right. Why, why are they just... Don't they have enough cards? They, they have 800 of them. All right. I did not hear... Rex, you have breaking news on Wander Franco? I have not heard about Wander Franco. But here is Jordan McCants. No idea where Jordan McCants goes. Uh, let's see. That's why, I'm, that's why I want to do this pro set first. Jordan McCants is with the Marlins. Has he always been with the Marlins since 2021? Yes, he has been. All 
All right, so that's going to be for uh, Carl, Chris, and the fish. Here's Joe Mac. Return of the Mac. Twenty out of twenty. And everyone, everyone knows where Joe Mac goes, right? Joe Mac is also a Marlin. That's another one. He's benched for today, maybe tomorrow. Oh, I thought it was more serious news than that. Benched by Kevin Cash for the way he handles his frustrations. All right. You were you made me nervous, Rex. I thought he was like injured or something like that. That's JV news. Five out of ten, Nick Gonzalez. That's not varsity news. But it's news. Adjust your fantasy lineups for the next couple days, ladies and gentlemen. Nick Gonzalez is back in 2021. Pirates, still with the Pirates. Five out of ten, that is for Ryan. And here's Joe Rock. We had Joe Cook and Joe Rock. For those about to rock. We salute you. Joe Rock is with Colorado now. Was he with Colorado in 2021? Yes. That's what it would be in the checklist. That's why I'm going by the going by year there. And that's two out of 25, by the way. That's for John and the Rockies. And we got. Josh, ooh, nice. We got Joshua Baez, and we got a nice redemption here. Did you see? It's kind of lame. It's not kind of lame. Grow up, Wander Franco. You know, it's. Still young. They can afford to bench him for a couple days, right? Cardinals for Joshua Baez. That's going to be for David M. And that's out of 20. You know, it's good to set the disciplinary tone now, Rex. This early in this, they're at this stage of the season, just before the midway point, and they can afford to. Right? They've got a lot of wins. All right. I don't know if you saw, but it's Jason Dominguez. That's pretty nice. Yankees with that one. John, got randomized the Yankees in this one. All right, another pro set box. Oh, we've seen him in Bowman University. Bilal Koulibaly from France. That's uh, Wenbenyama's teammate, I believe, on the same team. Goes to the Pacers. Colson Montgomery. I think he's a Rocky. I feel like I, I know this guy. That's out of 25. Show me Rockies. He's a Chicago White Sox. And that will be for Carl Chris, C-K-H, with C-W-S. Here is Dylan Smith. No idea. Sounds like a, an, an Atlanta Brave to me. 
5 out of 7. Dylan Smith is a tiger. That'll be for CKH, Carl Chris. We got Zach Geloff to 25. I feel like we saw him recently in a break. Where does Zach Geloff go? Zach Geloff is with is with the open A's. That'll be for Ryan with the A's. There's Anthony Gutierrez. You love the whole John Boy Garrett Cole breakdown. His breakdowns are pretty good, Rex. They're pretty entertaining. A lot of people like him. 12 out of 30. Anthony Gutierrez, I have no idea where these guys go. I think Anthony Gutierrez sounds like a, uh, a ranger. Yes, he's a Texas ranger. Walker, Texas Ranger. That's going to go to Matt and the Rangers. There's Robert Pawson. He's still with the A's, right? Yep, still with the A's. Uh-oh, David M. just mentioning Thompson Twins' lies, 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 yeah. But he might be lagging behind by 15 minutes, 10 minutes or 5 minutes or 5, 10 minutes. That's 4 out of 4, Robert Poss and Ryan with Oakland. Big international prospect name. That's right, his name is Robert Pawson. His name is Robert Pawson. His name is Robert Pawson. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. And David M is caught up. And there's Jordan Lawler for the Arizona Diamondbacks. I know him. That's for, that's for David M. Just in time, David. You were lagging before. You're just in time for a one out of three Jordan Lawler from uh, Leaf Pro Set. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. All right. Now let's move on to 2022 Leaf Lumber Baseball. There might be a lot of randomizers that pop out of here, but... We'll do that at the end of the break. Here is Richie Ashburn, game use lumber. Wow. Jarris Walker, oh, that's how you say his name. I've been saying Jarrace Walker, but Jarrace Walker goes to Washington. Richie Ashburn goes to uh, Philadelphia, right? I don't think there's a checklist for this, so this will go to the teams that they played for the longest if they're retired. Yeah, he played for the Phillies the longest. So that'll go to Jason K and the Phillies. We got Ted uh, Kluzuski, two out of 12. Twins, maybe?
No, I think he played for the uh, the Reds the longest. Yeah, he played for Cincinnati the longest. How about the other twins, Nelson? Are there Nelson twins? Then we'll do these randomizers at the end. Frank Robinson, Mike Piazza, Miguel Cabrera, Duke Snyder, Albert Pujols, Jason Giambi. And then we'll do this uh, bat rack. Pieces of their lumber. It's a pretty cool one, too. We'll do that at the end of the break. Gary Gaetti, Carew, Chuck Knobloch, Kirby Puckett. Teams they played for the longest. All right. One more of these, and then we can start moving a little bit more quickly. Game use lumber, Sean Green, one out of three. Nice. Uh, Sean Green probably played with the Blue Jays the longest, right? Sean Green did indeed play for Toronto the longest. That will go to seven seasons with Toronto. That'll go to Carl Chris. I don't remember any Nelson twins. Rex. We got game more game used lumber. This time it's Steve Kemp. Steve Kemp played majority of his career for the Tigers. Wait, is the band name Twin Nel Twins Nelson? That'll be for Carl Chris. And there is another randomizer that we'll, we'll do at the end. Their name is Just Nelson. I've never heard of this band. Anyone hear of this band, Just Nelson? And a nice Brooks Robinson for the Orioles, two out of five. Piece of his lumber and autograph. Going to the Orioles, J with the O's. Nice. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. All right, that is that. I guess I should tag that Baltimore as well. All right, now let's roll into 2020 Bowman, first edition. Two boxes of that. Then we'll go into a box of 2020 Bowman Baseball. Then we'll get into 2021 Donner's Optic, a few boxes of 2022 Bowman Draft. Then we'll start working our way back into the, uh, the single card stuff in there as well. Does anyone have any idea what Rex is talking about? Is this another, is this some obscure 90s band, Rex? That's Rex's wheelhouse. I've never known what Rex is talking about, Will says. This is true. David's saying they sound like Hanson. 
Does it have, maybe, uh, Rex has been known to be confused. He might be thinking about somebody else. Now that's a band I have heard, the Cocteau Twins. Definitely, I know them. They both had long blonde hair. That does sound like Hanson. Are you thinking of Hanson, Rex? The Hanson Twins, not the Nelson Twins? <laughs> that would be, and that song, Umbop? It wouldn't surprise me if that's, that's what it was. Of course, a 90s band, Ovs. Nelson is an American rock band founded by singer-songwriters Matthew and Gunnar Nelson, twins of son, twin sons of Ricky Nelson and Kristen Nelson. The band achieved success during the early 90s. Right. Hippie is saying, I remember Nelson, not very memorable. I was like Rex's favorite band, <laughs> and we're like, oh. Will thinks Umbop has actually aged really well. Great tune. I think it has too. It's a fun, it's a bop. As the kids say, it's a bop. Still pretty catchy. Yeah, the Nelson Twins, clearly not at Thompson Twins level. Taylor Hendricks goes to the Jazz. There's a Bowman first, first edition, Bobby Witt Jr. I think this, this is where those silver cards are the special ones, right? Got a Clark Schmidt to 150. That Volpe's a Bowman first. And we got a Nicola Dolo to 25. Thompson Twins may have had one or two more song, yeah. That's an understatement. One or two more songs that people actually listen to. There's Alec Minot to 150. Hopefully he's figured things out. Toronto, that's for Carl Chris. Bobby Witt Jr., nice. Silver Border. Nico Hulsizer to 150 for the Rays. That'll be for Dylan and the Bobby Witt Jr. Bowman first, first edition, going to Chris Carl and the Royals. Carl Chris and the Royals. I think it's CKH in the chat. We'll go Carl Chris. He's using both. Oh, whoa. They play that Nelson song now on Kroger Radio? Ooh. Watch out. Watch out, everybody. Nelson. Just Nelson on, on, the, on the comeback. Kroger Radio digging deep on that 90s nostalgia. There's Bryson Stott to 50 for the Phillies. That'll be for Jason K and the Martian going to John Jackson and the Yankees. First, first edition. Yeah, I think I'd rather listen to the Hanson brothers than just Nelson. There's Robert Pawson to 75.
Eleven out of ten. Does anyone know the actual words to that song? I feel like that's a song where it's just everyone knows the chorus, <laughs> right? Easy. It's an easy chorus, uh, but no one really knows the actual lyrics of the song. What's it about? I don't know. I mean, for all we know, for all I know of the lyrics of that song, that could be they could be talking about. They can be talking about, like, clubbing baby seals in Alaska. You know, just innocent baby seals with those big, wide, dewy eyes. And they're talking about that. And here we are singing about, like, it's like, mm, bop. It's like, that's what the song is about, clubbing baby seals. You know? And then we're just like, we're like, oh, it's about clubbing baby seals? Right, like pumped up kicks. Everyone's like, oh yeah, you know, whistling along to that song. It's about like Columbine. They were talking about the toy game before it was invented. There's a game called Mbop. I think it's about clubbing baby seals. We just don't know it yet. On their deathbed, they're gonna be like, Mbop is about bopping baby seals on the head with a club. A great thing to play with the fam. Bop it? I have never heard of this game. Like a, it's a board game? About bopping baby seals on the head? It's like Simon, but... Oh, that's the thing with all sorts of, like... It's like a... Yeah, it has all sorts of, like... Buttons and twisty things and machine parts. The handheld toy, yeah, yeah, I remember. Will explained it. It's like uh, it's like if you were in a nightmarish factory situation, like a cartoon factory, and it's like a nightmare situation in a cartoon factory where you're like pulling levers and like turning things and and like some sort of Mickey Mouse fever dream. Oh. So Wizards and Pacers made a trade. They moved They moved Jarris Walker to the Wizards. No, Bilal Koulibaly to the Wizards. And the Mavericks take Kaysen Wallace. Maybe some uh, guard. Maybe he can handle the ball a little bit. Open up Luka to roam around. All right, next Bowman first first edition box. Mm, box 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 mm, box do do da Bowman box. What's the uh, card chipping situation here? All card chip in this. That's nice. Just remember folks, it's kind of a big break, so a lot of cards. So give our sorting and chipping team a little extra time to, uh, to sort and ship this break out. It's gonna take longer than, uh, than most breaks. And we got an autograph, that's a nice one. Adley Rushman. 
first edition auto, 15 out of 25. Jay Goins got randomized the Baltimore Orioles. Nice little color match as well. That is nice. Now we're not quite through the halfway point of the season, but at the moment, Adley Rushman, I think he's having a pretty solid season. He's a 1.9 war, 272 batting average, 10 home runs, 32 RBIs, 808 OPS. I mean, that, that's, that's kind of what you want in a catcher, right? He's got more walks than strikeouts. Right? You like seeing that. Was second in Rookie of the Year voting last year. If Julio Rodriguez didn't exist, I suppose he would have been AL Rookie of the Year. Right? Or Stephen Kwan, one of those guys. Bye, Joe. Have a great weekend. All right, Evan. Thank See you. you. Have a good one, man. You too. Enjoy the draft. Thanks. My Lakers picking in about five picks. I like the pace of the N NBA draft a lot more than the NFL draft. I feel like over the years, the NFL draft has gotten slower and slower and slower. Blake Rutherford to 150 for the White Sox. That's going to be for Carl Chris. Open? Uh, close, please. Luis Robert to 150 for the White Sox. Carl Chris. Nick Bennett, 7 out of 50. Uh, yes, Steve Log, I am aware of the length of both sports' draft. Three days is crazy, though. They, they could really compress that into two days. But even, even day one of the first round of the NFL draft just takes forever. You know? We're, we're what? How many? We're not that too long into the draft, right? When did they start? 5.30? We're like halfway through the first round already. NFL needs to speed up that draft. It's getting too long. Too bloated. You got to get everyone and their cousin announcing picks takes forever you're getting you know you got like you got like uh, know, everyone and their cousin doing it but I'm saying it still could be faster yes I know how long the draft is I know that the last 10 picks of the NBA draft is irrelevant NFL could go a lot faster day to day all right, now we're going to move ahead to uh, 2020 Bowman baseball. Look how quick this is. I love it. Jet Howard, they, Orlando Magic with another guard. NFL draft just needs to move faster. That's what I say. We get it. You want to have former players do it. You want to have a Make-A-Wish kid go up there and announce a pick. You know, you want to have some someone from their youth camp to announce a pick. Let's send it off to you know people in the uh, in the military. Blah blah blah. I get it. But gotta speed that up a little bit. Yeah, we got some hits, Dave. We got that Adley Rushman. That was pretty nice. We've been getting hits. Now this stuff, obviously, base-heavy stuff. You have to work. You have to work a little bit to get to those hits. But when we cycle to the 
to the more hit based stuff, that's when we're going to start seeing some things. Some more hits. No, <coughs> Will, Will wants the NFL draft to be longer? <laughs> he almost choked on that comment. I guess nothing really does happen that weekend. Right? Is, I, don't, I don't know where the draft is next year, actually. Is it in Green Bay? It's in Green Bay? It's going to be a little... What's the weather like in, in uh, April, I guess, whenever the draft is? All right, Jet Howard is selected. Jawan Howard's kid. The NFL draft? Did the NFL draft used to be 15 rounds? It's possible. I'm not sure who like the big names were in 20, 20 Bowman. But all card shit. Remember how baseball used to be like 60 rounds. There's Byron Laura to 150 for the Rangers. That'll be for Matt. Ah, Detroit in 2024 and Green Bay in 2025. Here is our autograph, Connor Cannon. To 499 for the Giants. That's going to go to Carl Crisp and the Giants, CKH. Are people feeling a little old right now that Jawan Howard's kid is now being drafted to the NBA? Some people might have, might have grown up watching Jawan Howard play. Yeah, the weather can be unpredictable up there. Who knows what's going to happen in the in the draft? Burr. But also, this cardinal reminded me of a question Rex was asking a little bit earlier. He's saying Jordan Walker's had two double-digit hitting streaks this season. Now he hasn't played since Tuesday due to illness. Okay. Oh, I thought there was a question in there somewhere. What's your, so what, what's the point, Rex? Are you saying that the double-digit hitting streak, he got two double-hitting hitting streaks, and now because of that, that correlates to his illness? That'd be interesting. You felt old when no, no one knew who the Thompson Twins were. Huh? People know the Thompson Twins. Even if they don't know, they know. Yeah, maybe the cold could speed things up. I feel like Hold Me Now has been in a number of commercials in the last five to ten, ten years. Hold me now. Warm my heart. Stay with me, let love him start. I had a picture. Is that the word lyric? I don't know the word. I don't know the word. I'm hung on my wall. Something and something and something and something. It happened at all. 
Spandau Ballet. Ba 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 ba. Moment, moment. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know words. All right, we're in uh, 2021 now. That's a good song. Rex is saying that, that Jordan Walker seems fit, like as if like someone Tanya Harding did. This guy's playing too well. We got a Tanya Harding him. Poisoned his food or something like that at the hotel. Is he on the road? What about the, uh, what about that song that says, uh, I'm sorry, but I don't I have the right words to say. I promise you, I promise you, remember that song? Uh oh, Rex is saying, you know what one of the best 80s songs is? He's probably going to pick a song that's actually not great. Oh, Aha Te, yeah, that is actually a great. Great. Is this the best 80s song? Very representative of the 80s. Now, I wasn't Depeche Mode. I'm sorry, but I just can't find the right words to say. I think that's the lyric. The song is The Promise, right? Who's the, who's, the, or is that the band? When in time, when in Rome. Yes, nice, Will. I hit you with the bell on that one. That's a good one. Good pull. There's Raphael Devers to 140. Eugene had it too. Nicely done, guys. There's Chris Paddock. Raphael Devers is going to go to Carl Chris in Boston to 149. There's Alejandro Kirk for Toronto. That's going to go to Carl Chris. Orange Auto. That's 79 out of 125. We got Max Scherzer to 35. Sixto Sanchez, rated rookie hollow. OKC picks. Derek Lively the second. Nice. I like his uh, his jacket there. But Isaac Paredes for Carl Chris and Detroit. Last spot mojo. Thirty six out of seventy five. Yeah, eighties music is pretty nice. It's Christian Pache to ninety nine. And Luis Patino is your autograph for the Rays. That's going to be for Dylan in Tampa Bay. I think the one-hit wonders of the 80s, so I feel like they stand up better than the one-hit wonders of the 90s. There's Alex Jackson. That's a few. That might be a hot Autograph hot box right there. That's going to be for Atlanta. That's for Tristan. And we got Bo Bichette. Oh, it is an autograph hot box. Nice. That's going to go to Carl Chris in Toronto. I. I vaguely remember the presence of the United States cover of Video Kill the Radio Star. I think 
I vaguely remember that. I think it was all right. All right. Now let's move to 2022 Bowman Draft. A few boxes of this, and then we'll start getting into the, the, the much lighter stuff. We're getting the base heavier stuff out of the way. Not base as in, you know, a bass guitar. The base is in the commons. Did I ever like the Violin Femmes? No, no. I mean, the probably Blister in the Sun and that one other song are the only two I know. And I like those, but I couldn't say that I like them as a, that I like them. That I like them like them. No. I have not heard the Bauhaus cover of Ziggy Started. I'd like to hear that. An XCC covered all along the Watchtower? I'd hear that too. I have heard the Disturbed cover of Sound of Silence. I do remember that. That's a good interpretation of it. Prefer the original. But if you're going to do a cover, you may as well... Uh, we may as well put a completely different spin on it. Which is uh, why I don't like the uh, Weezer cover of of Toto's Rosanna, I think. They, did they do two Toto songs? Rosanna and Africa, maybe? But they were good, but they were like too faithful of a rendition of the originals. Then it's just like, what's the point? I'd rather listen to Toto do it. The XTC is underrated. I think I'd probably end up hearing some of their songs and they're like, wait, who is this? Someone's gonna be like, it's XTC. It's like, oh. Gotta, gotta work on that catalog. Right, my Laker's coming up in a four picks or so. Yeah, Toto's Africa, yeah, not very good, right? What was more amazing about what cover? Yeah, those Weezer covers were pretty bad. Not bad, but just unexceptional. A faithful rendition, but it's just like, why do you do that? I want the Weezer spin on these songs. Not like, not like a faithful rendition. Oh, on Sound of Silence. What was amazing about the... I think it'd be more amazing is if he, uh, is if in the studio he had the flu and he went ahead with it. Not some random live performance on a late night show. Here's Ellie Dela Cruz. 75. It's Cole Young to 150. Uh, Jackson Holiday, first, first. Holiday. If we took a holiday, it would be, it would be so nice. Doom, 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 doom. Jay Goins with the O's. Matt's kid, everyone knows that, right? Oh, Toronto with Dick. Grady Dick, that is. Obviously. What other Dick would it be? Grady Dick, the basketball player. You like Grady Dick's outfit, everybody? 
Are his pants red sequin as well? Show the pants. I feel like there needs to be more contrast in Dick's drip here. I feel like the, the turtleneck tank top should be black and maybe not sequined. There's Simon Juan to 25 for the Mets. That's going to be for John. Yeah, I got to watch that. Uh, there's Jordan Lawler right there. I got to watch the, uh, whatchamacallit? Oh, the pants are black, I see. Well, then the black pants should have matched the shirt. This is poor, this is poor uh, styling here by the stylist. But yeah, I got to watch that... Uh, that uh, documentary, the the Woodstock '98 documentary, or '94, '98, whatever that, whatever the bad one was. There's Nick Bittison to 150, and another Jackson Holiday paper. Too many sequins. I like uh, who had was it Brandon Miller. Had a black sort of sport coat with a little bit of sequin right there, pattern on there. Did anyone get? Anyone get like? I mean, it was like it was like it. It was like a time, you know, maybe just a handful of years before, like cell phone, like cameras, you know, were ubiquitous, right? So this would have been like. Um, I mean, I don't know how many people would have been charged with all sorts of arson and assault. There, did any of the concert promoters get sued or anything like that? Where's Grady Dick from? Why did he make this choice, this fashion, the sartorial selection here? He's from Wichita, Kansas. This is definitely what a kid from Kansas would think looks cool. <laughs> no offense to Kansas, sorry, but it's not exactly the fashion center of the world. By comparison, look at what Victor Wembanyama from France is wearing. And then look at what Grady Dick is wearing. And you can see that they are worlds apart. He made this decision. He was like, you know what? This is going to look cool. It's not, Grady. It's not. You're going to look back and regret this. Ten years later, after multiple All-Stars. I'm rooting. I'm rooting for him. Pelicans, Atlanta, Utah, and then I think my Lakers. No other trades, huh? Lakers were ru rumored to may to possibly be active, maybe trading the pick up, down, around. Although sometimes these trades don't get revealed until afterwards. No, Steve, he's not. He is not in Kansas anymore. He's in uh, wherever he went. There's, there's a New York Post headline that says, Kansas is Grady Dick channels Wizard of Oz with a wild 2023 NBA draft suit. Maybe that was, uh, maybe that was intentional then, which is a unique, unique choice. There's Yasser Mercedes to 150. If he is going Wizard of Oz theme, like Dorothy's slippers, Fine. Slippers? Shoes? Slides? I don't know if they're really slippers, are they? Maybe uh, a Mary Jane heel? Someone look that up.
Didn't those original shoes go for like a zillion dollars on auction? That's to 150, Trey Sweeney. John with the Yankees. Now, if there is a Grady Dick suit patch card, that would be awesome. Although he might be borrowing that. Maybe not. Maybe he, I don't think he bought it. But if like Panini buys it or something like that. Or maybe I guess Topps has the license in the future. If they snag that, pop that into one of their sets. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, and Murphy blew to 150 for the Braves, Tristan. Will's not here every day, Rex. Will likes other music too. Will Will's bandwidth of music is like this. Rex, your bandwidth of music is like this. So I'm nicer to Will. I don't see him. I don't see him often. But you, I see every day. I get I get to review. Lincoln Park, all that new metal stuff, not in, not into it. But the the sort of pop culture and the drama surrounding Woodstock, I think, I think a pretty fascinating thing. Dominic uh, Keegan, by the way, to twenty five goes to the Rays. That'll be for Dylan and Parker Messick. Yellow parallel to seventy five for Cleveland. Carl Chris. Although if I had to choose between Limp Bizkit and Lincoln Park, I suppose I would pick Lincoln Park. Creed, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot be an advocate for Creed. That's pretty bad. Alice in Chains, though. Definitely a supporter of Alice in Chains. Their, uh, their Unplugged album, one of the best. I might say even the best of those 90s era Unplugged albums. Or recordings or whatever, concerts. Are they, Will? I don't know if I don't know if any of those bands are big with any hipster scene here in LA. Maybe ironically. Maybe a so bad it's good kind of situation. Creed is a lot better than Nickelback. Oof, that's a rough statement. That's like saying instead of eating a spider, I'd rather eat a worm. Eating a, eating a worm is better than eating a spider. Oh, if it's ironic, then yes, I can definitely see that. That's like me uh, knowing all the words to uh, Ashley Simpson songs. <laughs> the autobiography album. 
pretty good. Jordan Hawkins, by the way, goes to who? Atlanta? Or no, maybe the team before that. All right, last of the base heavy stuff. Now then we're going to roll into the fun stuff here, ladies and gentlemen. So we are, we are there. Now we should start flying through this break. Oh, he went to the, Jordan Hawkins went to the Pelicans. So we've seen his stuff in, uh, in that Bowman University. Wow, Wake Forest and LSU are in the middle of the 10th, tied at zeros. That's an elimination game. If I didn't like new metal, why would I like corn, Rex? Corn was pretty bad, too. Corn's pretty bad. No, it did not. Uh, I, I, I learned, I like to, tools pretty good. Um, corn's pretty bad. Tools pretty good. Kohe and Cambria did not appreciate until, or I didn't really listen to until much later. Maybe when one of their songs was in like Rock Band or something like that, or Guitar Hero. <laughs> Jackson Holiday for Jay Goins. Pearl Jam's Porch was one of the best on it. Not into Pearl? That's, this is an unpopular opinion. Uh, unpopular opinion. Pearl Jam overrated. Ska, no, did not like, did not like Ska. I'll tell you why, because I think a lot of, a lot of kids, I think in high school, high school band, would end up forming ska bands and they thought they were cool and they were not. They were band nerds, marching band geeks. There's Drew Thorpe for the Yankees for John and Dylan Lisko to 50. Reggae. I like the reggae. Ska, no thanks. Uh, also... My tastes lean more 60s British Invasion. I'm a big Beatles fan. And then, uh, and then some EDM stuff. Mid-90s Brit pop. 80s. The Smiths. New Order. It's Jordan Walker. Folk music. Old blues. 50s, 60s era country. Patsy Cline. Went to a great Patsy Cline tribute concert. With, uh, who else was there? The Living Sisters did some songs there. Uh, Deschanel. Did some songs there. These are the randomizers we have to do at the end. So we'll do some Sapphire. Like the Prodigy, did not get into Aphex Twin as much. Did like uh, Chemical Brothers. It's pretty big. And then sort of the, the, the early 2000s trance house scene, which developed into the scene that we have today. I also like. Cascade, Dead Mouse, Zed. Get those going. Beatles, Stones, Clapton, The Who, 
dig all that. Tom McCartney last summer. That was awesome. Let Forever Be. Classic. Stone Roses was great. Three out of fifty walk off water. Yankees. Eighties hair bands. Uh, ironically, I would like them. <laughs> But not actually. They're a Brady Singer, 9 out of 10. Winger. Listen to a lot of Winger. Yeah, yeah. Do, 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 Okay, Def Leppard I might actually legitimately like. Spiritualized is great. Avalanches, all over the avalanches. And they've they've been releasing some recent some stuff recently. Licensing issues kind of prevented them from releasing anything after their amazing debut record. But avalanches, they're finally able to get some stuff going. We're pretty good. Where are you, autographs? You're right there. Morning came when I was on my way. She reminded me. There's Luke Williams. Use the force, Luke. Luke Williams, rookie autograph from Mosaic Choice. Going to Miami, 35 out of 88. That's going to Carl Chris. Hoyon Park reveals a Luis Gill, old Gill from The Simpsons. Remember him? Remember old Gill from The Simpsons? This is Luis Gill going to the Yankees, John Jackson. All right. Uh, what should, should we do? Some uh, some of this? Some vintage? Now, Metallica, not good, aside from the Black Album, maybe with the one before that. After that, when you start suing your fans, they're a bunch of a-holes. Yeah, I was going to say the first three, probably really good, right? I think the third would be, the, and after that, soured on, soured on them. F them. Rat. They did round and round. Two T's, right? Round and round. What goes around comes around. You never was an ACDC fan? I'm a big ACDC fan. That I do like, although all the songs kind of sound the same. All right, first one, it, Mickey Mantle. Nice, PSA 4, 1968 Tops Baseball. John with the Yankees. PSA 4, not, not bad for a card from 1968. Tracy Chapman was your first tape. Give me one reason to stay here, and I'll turn right back around. Was that Tracy Chapman? Or was it she the one that where you drive the car thing? Maybe I'm thinking of someone else. Yeah, it was two T's for a rat. Who's, who's Riff Stealers? Who, who, who's a Riff Stealer? Oh, both. They're driving fast in the car. And then, uh, give me one reason to stay here. And I turn right back around. There's Bill Mazeroski for the Pirates. From 19, PSA 9 from 1959. That's pretty good. I'll take that. Guy hit a walk-off home run in Game 7 of a World Series. All right, let's go Hit Parade Baseball Limited Edition from 2022. 
You saw Tracy Chapman over for Sting many years ago. She was awesome. How was Sting? Does he play police songs on solo tours? I think we got a thick one here. Nice Trey Mancini. Gold ink autograph on the eye black. 13 out of 15. Orioles, J with the O's. Sting with a full orchestra. First concert, Third Eye Blind. Third Eye Blind, underrated. At least their first record. And the next one is Kyle Tucker from Absolute Baseball. Dual Relic and Autograph, 13 out of 25. That's for Carl Chris and the Astros. Now we've got Emerald Edition. Jazz take. Keontae George off the board. Lakers are next. I have no idea who they're going to take. All right. Vlad Guerrero Jr., triple relic and autograph. Nice. From Museum Collection. 54 out of 124, 2021 Museum Collection. Blue Jays, Carl Chris. <laughs> oh, poor Will. Will saying, man, I would get the Angels in an Otani break and there'd be no Angels. Unless you... No, wait till the end. You never know, Will. And we got a dual autograph, both Astros. 15 out of 25, Altuve and Jordan Alvarez from 2020 Finest Baseball. That's going to go to Chris, Carl Chris. All right. Now, what do we got here? We got a lot of randomizing to do here. We got to randomize these three cards. Then we got to randomize, right, the Otanis and the Wax Party. All right, so I need one, two, three, four lists, one dice. So let's go back to random.org, and let's get four lists going. It's also kind of toasty in here. And things are heating up here. Things are heating up, all right. So first list is the stat bat on base plus slugging. We're going to go Frank Robinson, Baltimore, Mike Piazza, Miguel Cabrera, Detroit, Duke Snyder, Dodgers, Albert Pujols, St. Louis, and Jason Giambi. You know what? Hang on. Let's, let's do it this way because we gotta we gotta we gotta see what teams they played for the longest. Piazza, Miggy, Duke Snyder, Pujols, and Jason Giambi. Leaf making this a little bit difficult for me here. And then we got the next one, Kirby Puckett. Chuck Knob Block for the U. Rod Carew. Gary Gaetti. That was the bat rack right there. And then we've got Silver Sluggers, 1993 Silver Sluggers. That's Frank Thomas. That's Albert Bell. Juan Gonzalez. Mike Piazza. Fred McGriff, Barry Bonds, 
David Justice, and Lenny Dykstra. Wait, are those all twins? That, I hate this set. Um, I mean, did Chuck Knobloch play for, I guess it makes more sense if he's a twin, right? I guess he did play for, Gaetti played for the, for the Twins the longest. Rod Carew played for the Twins the longest, right? Did Knobloch play for the Twins the longest? He did, all right. And then Kirby Puckett obviously played with him, the, played with the Twins his entire career, right? Yes, all right, so that's one less thing I gotta do. Thanks, Steve. So that'll go to that'll go to David M. There you go, David. David, you should thank Steve L. in the chat. It's a pretty cool set, though. I just wish they put like cities on there or something like that. Team team name? They can't do team names. City names on there. That'd be nice. All right, so those. So I only have two more to do from that leaf uh, lumber set, and then let's grab everybody's names for the final big randomizer. So we'll use one dice roll for all the lists. So let's roll it, randomize it. Two and a two for the hard way for all three. Name or team on top gets it. One, two, three, and four. After four times, it's Albert Pujols, and that's going to be for the Cardinals. That'll be for David M. Another one for you, David. Nine out of nine. And then your Silver Sluggers. I guess it says 1993, so whatever team they played for in 1993. Why don't we do it that way? Two and a two, four times. One, two, three, and four. That's Mike Piazza, 1993, Dodgers. That's going to be for Jason Kirsch. Is that his rookie year? Don't remember. All right, now the big moment, ladies and gentlemen. Two and a two for the hard way. Name on top gets a wax party invite and this big stack of Otani graded rookie cards. The full list is in the item description. That's pretty, I'll, I'll, I'll show it to the winner. Anyway, that whole stack right there. And a wax party invite. Second name down, also a wax party invite. Third name down, tears, sad times. But hey, that's, that's, that's the name of the game here. Let's gather everybody's names, 1 through 30. Oh, I already got everyone's names in here. Yeah, winner take all, Duncan, on that Otani lot. Winner take all. Took a while for it to break. Nobody wanted to fill it. Very few breaks where you're guaranteed a $9,000 hit. Think about that. All right, so a two and a two, four times after the Lakers pick. Oh, Jalen Hood Shafino from Indiana. I've heard of him. All right. Good luck, everybody. One, two, three, and four. So after four times, sad times for three through 30. None more sadder than, than John. Very close, John, but just, just not quite. 3 through 30, thanks everybody for giving this a shot. Appreciate you. But only the top two can get in. Second name, Wax Party Invite. That's Carl Chris. Top name, Wax Party Invite and the Otanis, John Jackson. Woo! Wow. 
And a wax party invite, John. All these Otanis go to you. One Otani. Two, two Otanis. Three, three Otanis. Four. I'm not going to do it all the way. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, and twenty-two. Twenty-two Otanis! Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah! Oh. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Here's the whole lot for John and the wax party invite. I don't know. What do you do? Do you maybe sell some duplicates and then say, sell one, save one? Sell all of them if you want to. I would maybe I would maybe sell like the nines. Sell some duplicates. You know, put some uh, and put some cash in your pocket and then save the rest for some other time or something like that. That's what I, there's John. Congrats, man. Congrats. There you go. I'm Joe for Jaspi's Case Breaks. I might as well do a recap here as well. Kind of a long break here. Thanks for sticking with me. Well, yeah, I predicted about an hour and a half. It's about at the hour 22 minute mark. Thanks, everybody. For getting, the break itself was pretty awesome, too, I thought. I know there was a lot of bass-heavy stuff at the beginning, but... I think once we grinded through that, saw some nice stuff out of there. The Adley Rushman, Bobby Wood Jr., Sky Blue, Brooks Robinson was pretty awesome. Some old school stuff out of that Leaf Lumber. Jordan Lawler in the mix, Robert Pawson. Jason Dominguez. Not too bad at all. And obviously the Otanis we gave away, the Wax Party invites, a lot of great stuff. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.